do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Drew Alright, so we back with another big bang banger. You feel me? I'm finally reacting to this video. I'm finally reacting to this video. Y'all don't understand how many freaking people have sent me the link to this video ever since I started doing these reaction videos. I don't know. I just haven't had the chance to react to it. And right now, I have the chance to react to it. So basically, we back with the UDY reactions. You know what I'm saying? This dude is confronting the biggest. And I mean the biggest mother effing gold digger in the entire mother effing world. I didn't watch the video, of course, but this is what y'all is telling me. Y'all like the man was, he was down bad. It was a great reaction. He was mad. They ended up getting her all this type of stuff. So I'm excited to watch this. I got myself some snacks, you know what I'm saying? It's really just applesauce. Y'all know I, I gotta make reaction videos while I'm eating something. That sounded weird, but you know what the heck I meant. But um, yeah, we're finna just get right into this, you know what I'm saying? So like the video right now, because you know it's a big body banger. As soon as you hear me say, all right, y'all, back another big body, like the video. Because you know it's a big body banger. If I start the video and don't do, all right, y'all, back another big body banger, then it's probably not a big body banger. But every single time I do, it's a big body banger. So like the video, because it's a big body banger. And before we get into the video, draw that kind of device, man. You can buy two, you can get the download for free, or you can bundle up. Make a bundle, a bundle, and save yourself $50. Man, take yourself fifty dollars, man. And if you want me to react to anything specific, hit me over there on Instagram at Drew underscore. Let's just get right into this. <sighs> Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Welcome everyone. Hey. I know we've been gone for a while. Wow. Technically only like two weeks, but yeah. still, it's YouTube and in the YouTube world. That's, that's a long time. <laughs> but we've been working on something very big behind the scenes, guys. And if you guys want a sneak peek of exactly what that is, stick until the very the end of this that? video to watch it. You be why? You be why? Rich, rich. They rich rich, they got a whole little wraith, you know what I'm saying? A nice little exactly mansion. They got a little Rolls Royce, you know what I'm saying, with the stars in the sky. That okay. Is, stick until the very end okay. of this video to watch it. But okay, on to this video. So, for this video, we were helping this guy named T figure out if his girlfriend Ari would end up trading him for another yeah. guy who had more money. Yeah. Or AKA, we were trying to figure out if this girl was a gold digger. She and is. And here's why T wanted to test his girlfriend Ari. I feel like she always doing shit behind my back. No, and you said you told her about that? Yeah, I and told her she about said. It. Like she always make up excuses. Like, she no, lying. I'm not doing this. But I'm finna roast this boy right now. Why the heck he got that Goku, Goku Supreme haircut? That man got the Goku Supreme haircut. The Super Saiyan 3. Like, make up dumb excuses. So my plan to give T that peace of mind that he wanted, as always, was simple. I was gonna have one of my very good friends pretend to be rich, hit on Ari, and eventually ask her on a date. We called this person our decoy, and the friend who I chose to play this role was none other than this guy. Oops, wait, no, sorry, I didn't yeah, stop at that. I meant to stop at this guy. Not this is the either. homie Lark. Bro, what the going on? You ain't got nobody else, man? It's fine. We'll use Lar Laris. Right, and don't let that look on his face fool you. He is more than capable of playing the role and getting the job done, believe me. Yo, yo, we are outside. <laughs> so the day for Laris to hit on Ari came, and after we picked him up from his house, we then made our way to Beverly freaking Hills. Mm. Remember, Laris is playing the decoy in a gold digger video, which means that it's my job to make this guy look hella, hella rich. And that's why a couple days before this day, I ended up going online and I rented out a multi-million dollar mansion. Dang! 
He spent five thousand dollars on it. Okay, okay, rich, rich. It was pretty expensive. I see. <laughs> but that. you know what? It's worth it because you guys love these videos, and I mean this when I say this. We can't keep making these videos without your guys' freaking support. Like I know it might not seem like it, but when you guys slap a like on this video, or when you guys even just share this video, I'm gonna like the video, man. Tremendous. I'm gonna like now, the video. Now when you guys check Let's out go. and support, thirty one million views. That helps us out even more because they support us. And this week we partnered with World of Tanks Blitz to bring you this video. Shout World out of World Tanks Tank, Blitz. You know what I'm saying, but I'm not watching it to have him use the restroom so my friend Jay could have a five minute window to walk up to Ari and grab her number to later invite her to the mansion. The truth is guys, Jay was actually my original choice to play decoy for this video. I mean, this guy helped me paint my office the previous week, so I decided to give him a shot. All girls <laughs> like a black man. You, know, I'm black. <laughs> you ain't lying. Can't lie, say, Jay, I'm delicious. <laughs> That's no joke. For the record, I don't know if this guy's delicious, nor do I want to find out if he's delicious. <laughs> hey, yo. Now, Jay's job this day was easy. All he had to do was walk up to Ari and ask her if she modeled because he was a real estate agent looking for a girl to model in one of the houses that he was trying to sell. My name is Jay. Nice to meet you. My name is Ari. You're Ari? Damn, that's a good name. That's a good name. I really like that name. Now, thanks to T, we already knew that Ari did model. So this was supposed to be easy, especially because Jay was also going to pay her $1,500. Who the hell's going to resist $1,500 freaking dollars? But unfortunately, instead of saying all that, Jay instead decided to say this. But I, I was just going to come over here and tell you how good looking you are. And I was going to invite you to my house. <laughs> Bro, what the heck? How the man just messed it? He fumbled in the bag. <laughs> How do you go up to a person? <laughs> wait, wait. Come over to my house. To your house? Yeah. <laughs> Jay, man, you done fumbled the bag, bro. Stick to painting walls. This man went up to a random John and said, "Yeah, you gonna come back to my house? I got money. I mean, it probably, it probably will work, but." It probably did not work. <laughs> okay, sorry, let me continue myself. It's a cool house. I mean, not like that. It's not like that. Yeah. It's just a really cool house, and I, I appreciate if you come check it out. <laughs> By the way, guys, I really apologize for the shaky cam. I should have used a tripod instead of holding it with my freaking hand. No, fine, thank you. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm rich. I mean, I got money. <laughs> My man's Jay. How much more creepy can you get? You got this poor girl scooting over and everything. Look at that. <laughs> What's up, man? How you gonna fall for the bad like that, my guy? It's unfortunate, but Jay utterly failed. And at that time, I thought we were screwed because I had no other freaking decoy on standby or anything. Are you being 100% for real? Or are you kidding? I'm I didn't see one like twice. Did you follow the script that I told you to follow? <laughs> No, you didn't! Oh my god. No, didn't. But we end up having Jay run back to us as I try coming up with a plan B. What happened to us? Bruh, not the go funk. That's why he didn't get the main role. That's why he didn't get the main role, because he fumbled the freaking bag, man. The boy got nervous when he walked up to the shawty. He was over here talking about, I'm delicious. Bye the bottom of my He was a, you was, a, you was, I ain't even for to talk about it, but he, he not built for this life. He not, not a lot of people are built for this kind of life. You know what I'm saying? I feel bad. Do I go back again and try? <laughs> He makes his way back from the restroom, and at this point, I text him about our dilemma. And then suddenly, an idea hits me. We have no other decoy on standby or in the car, but luckily, we did have Madeline there. Now, she can't play decoy, but she could at least go up to Ari, get her number, and invite her to the mansion. And since Madeline was a girl, it didn't really matter if T was there or not. And so that became the new plan. And considering Jay didn't even hit a single line in the script that I gave him, I decided it was safe to send Madeline in with the same script. But since she was in gym clothes, we just made some small tweaks for a dip her character. So instead of having Madeline walk up directly to Ari like Jay did, we instead have her running some laps first. How many laps she gonna do? I told her to do at least two or three. Uh, it's kind of like believable, dude. They do. That's a real workout. Yeah. And Madeline runs pretty slow. I'm just mad that this man Jay just met, fumbled the bag expeditiously. Just saying. We were waiting there for a while. Lap number two. There went lap number two. Madeline's a trooper, taking one for the team here, woo! Finally, after Madeline completes her third lap, she stops in front of Ari and ignites a conversation. Okay, she stopped, perfect. Sorry, this is so random, do you like model? Oh, I'm a little here. A little bit? Well, I, holy gosh, I'm She is out of breath, she is so tired, 
I was like running around this park and I was like, oh my gosh, so That's many. What I need to be. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look great. You look great. I wish I could be drinking that Starbucks. <laughs> so Madeline starts off strong. Okay, this is. I just want to say. She tells our. I'll be forgetting I'm making these reactions. This is just very interesting. I don't know. I, I, I need another. I need another episode. Harley, that she's in charge of finding models for her boss, who works in real estate. She explains the business module to her, and then proceeds to asking if she'd be interested in modeling for them at the beautiful mansion. <laughs> but if you're down, I mean, I mean, I just don't model like that. But no, <laughs> I mean, you have a great look. Thank you. When is it? It's tomorrow. Well, I mean, he's flexible though. If you can move things around. I promise it's worth it. Like it pays really, really well. $1,500? Woo! Okay, it sounded like Ari was a little bit unsure at first. However, Madeline just brought up the pay, and that seems to be having an impact on that her That'll make an impact on me, too, <laughs> man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I could probably, like, move some stuff around. You should. Are you down? I mean, yeah. Why not? I think having tea there actually really, really, really helped. Do you have, like, social media, or, like, do you mind if I get your number or something? Oh, yeah, you could just take my number. Okay, okay. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we got Ari's number and managed to get her to the mansion. Yes! Yeah. That's what's <laughs> up! Say, look at that goofball in the back. This man, Jay, just a, a walking L, bro. A walking L. Fuck yeah, I got you. So now you guys know the full story. Madeline was responsible for keeping in touch with Ari and making sure that she actually showed up. Okay, perfect. Uh, just text me when you're getting closer and I will go outside for you, okay? Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh-huh. And with that final confirmation that Ari was on her way, T, the rest of the team and I head upstairs to hide. T will be able to listen in to see if his girlfriend's passes or fails this test. But unfortunately, there were only two earphones, so Yokes and Jay were out of luck and could not listen in. Uh, we, oh, left, left, left. Okay, right. You're not yours. <laughs> so 15 minutes go by or so, and Madeline finally gets the text that Ari is here. So she heads outside to grab her. Okay, okay this is where you just keep your fingers spicy. crossed that she doesn't go skinny dipping. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, she go fumble. Ari is not the one. She's gonna fumble. I don't trust. I don't believe in her at all. I have no faith in this girl. She's gonna fumble. And long time no see. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're like it was yesterday. <laughs> the girls make some small talk and then they make their way back into the house where Ari is greeted clothes? by Laurus, who's our decoy, and her brother Josue, who's actually playing the photographer. This is the photographer and the person who owns the real estate company. Now remember, Ari thinks that she's there for a photo shoot, so without wasting any time, we put that girl to work. So pretty much, be fierce on the couch. <laughs> If you need me to help you, I will direct you, let you know. You okay, uh, you, could do, you could do one of these, like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, they're just taking photos of her. And so the photo shoot begins. The trio downstairs have already posed in multiple areas of the house for the next 20 minutes. If I were deep in this house right now, it wouldn't end up good for her. Now earlier I told Dolores that when he thought that they've taken enough pictures inside of the house, I wanted him to take Ari outside to the pool to take the pool. Bruh, this man finna fold. I can tell why he's smiling. He is not ready for this. They've taken enough pictures. Look at him. He a goof. He Bruh, he need better decoys, man. I'll tell you, he need better decoys. Side of the house, I wanted him to take Ari outside the pool. He's not the one. To he's, not the one. he's not the one. He's not. He's not smooth with it. Reasons. Those are good. Let's get some by the pool. Reason number one. This would mark the moment that Madeline and Josue would begin to ditch Loris and Ari. Remember, we need them by themselves so that Loris can ask her on a date. So Madeline exits first by making up the excuse that she has to take a very important phone call outside. Okay, they just at that time. And now reason number two as to why I asked Loris to take Ari to the pool is because. I needed to reposition the cameras. The thing is that the house was just so big that we couldn't capture everything that we needed in one take. So when Lara's Josue and Ari stepped outside, I came downstairs and readjusted the cameras to capture the spot where I want Lara's to ask Ari on a oh, date. Oh dang, this man doing all the work, man. No, 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 they're, they're just outside. Are they skinny dipping? <laughs> to let them know we're all clear, I then text Lara's to come back inside. I'm just waiting for her to get juicy, man. So that's it, we're done with the wrap already. Yeah, it's nearly like 30 minutes, but um, I got some food here if you want a burger or something. Josue, you want anything? Oh, dude, I'm gonna this right now, baby. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. And perfect, Josue now makes up his excuse of supposedly having to go edit the pictures that they just took. And just like that, people, we successfully got Let's Wallace go. and Ari all by themselves. Let's go. Go ahead and eat, and then I'll write you a check, and okay. we're good. Cool. Unless you don't want to eat, you don't have to eat. Oh, no, it's fine, I'll eat. Do <laughs> <laughs> you love me? But what a camera! So the camera the daytime when we first got to the mansion, we actually made some burgers, and I just think it's so funny that Lars offered her one because those burgers are hours old. Big ass house in this big ass grill, but the big ass grill does not work. But as plans, Lars then instructs Ari to sit in perfect line of our cameras. Yeah, we could just go ahead and go sit in the living room right here. Took the pictures. Yeah, right here, right here. Okay. 
So Ari gets comfortable, takes a bite of her burger, and then Lara's just comes and kicks her out of her spot. Oh, you can actually sit right here. This is my couch. I like, I like this. Oh, this is my couch, you know? Okay. <laughs> yeah, dude, I just put too much mustard in this. I don't think I did. I did put a lot of ketchup, though. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you want me to make the new one? No, it's fine. No, good, because I wasn't going to get up. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How is it though? The burger? Mm -hmm. really good, but... I don't know, I was out there cooking. <laughs> oh, I, don't know. I don't ever cook. So after some small talk and burger bites, Laura starts to strategically make it. He looked mad already. Why so Why Black Goku look mad already, man? She ain't even did nothing yet, man. Calm mm -hmm. down. I got like six other houses we can use. Yeah, yeah, so what do you do besides modeling? Well, I don't really model like that. For real? <laughs> no, I do a little here and there. So what do you do? I mean, I just do the work in school right now. Mm, what are you studying? I don't study right now, but I'll get to it. <laughs> nah, dude, I feel you. It's all good. Like, you should really get into some, into some real estate. Like, there's a lot of money in that. This is where you want to listen in because it's about to happen right here. <sighs> Come on, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm in real estate and I make some music. Music? <laughs> music. I sing, I rap a little bit, you know? <laughs> yeah, she already trying to pipe. She already trying to get the pipe. She already trying to get the pipe. I can already tell she's trying to get the pipe, man. She's seen the gold chain and she's trying to get pipe down. <laughs> yeah, I got a few songs like they out everywhere, you know. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Why not? That's <laughs> it. Okay, honestly, I didn't know if this was good or bad for Lars. He was on the right path. He brought up the real estate. He brought up the money, but then bringing up the music kind of veered him off track. He ends up putting his burger down, getting up, and grabbing Ari and himself something to drink. And for those of you guys wondering if there's alcohol in the cups, no, it's not alcohol this time. I swear. It's called a Sprite. <laughs> Now again, I don't know if Loris did all that because he lost his train of thought or because he was trying to get Ari to stop asking him about his music. But if it was to get her to stop asking about his music, it worked. Well, it didn't work because she continues oh, to ask him to play his music. Yeah, no, no, no. We eating and stuff. Okay, man. we eating, Jim. Bro, if you don't just ask Shari for her number and play it out right now, man, come on. <laughs> Just waiting for the good stuff to happen. That man go through the turn Super Saiyan 7 and hit this man upside his head and his girl. Nah, maybe later though. Maybe later. Why? You must be bad. I'm not gonna like judge you or nothing like that. Yeah. She tried to Ari is pretty relentless. But check this out because suddenly Lars gets an idea here. I right, look. How about this? I'll play you one song, and one song only, but you gotta let me take you out to eat. Damn! Oh, there you go, Lars. You completely flipped the script on her. You asked her out right now. What'd she say? She hasn't said anything yet. I'll play you a song, but you gotta let me take you out to eat. <laughs> Bruh, she's, nah, the fact that she hasn't said no yet, she's already trying to get clapped. She's trying to get piped down. She's trying to put some other type of meat in her mouth. That's all I'm saying. Like, three hours old. <laughs> before the shoot like I mean like I take you out you get dressed nice I get dressed nice I pick you up like go to a restaurant I'm serious she is she is you want to take me out just so I can hear one of your songs not just that I want to take you out because I think you're pretty you know you're cool you're looking good on the couches and stuff you know like why don't you ask another one she said, why don't you take Madeline out? But she hasn't said yet, no yet. She's 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 trying to get piped down. She's trying to get piped down. Yeah. She's hesitating. Well, Madeline, like, she's pretty and everything, but, like, she just don't got personality like you do. Oh, cool. I think she's doing this to everybody you work with. <laughs> nah, she just don't got personality like you. Like, she was talking to her is like, damn. Dang. That was why pretty roasting Madeline. Madeline. You're looking Madeline wasn't there. Why me? I just told you, you cool, you funny, like you pretty, like you cool to be around, like I feel your vibe. <sighs> okay, so this is so suspenseful. So Ari is resisting, which is good. However, no, I it's not. Resisting is cheating, man. Give me another apple sauce. Same time, she still hasn't said no thanks and shut Laura's down. But all of that I'm saying, might just be about to change. What's up? Like, you don't let me take you out on a date. No. If you don't say no. Yeah, she. You got a boyfriend or something? <laughs> Holy shit. You got a boyfriend? You got a boyfriend? 
So Ari has admitted to having a that boyfriend, don't mean nothing. which is really, really, really. Girls know they got a boyfriend and still cheat, man. I don't hear that. Good. However, I don't think T thinks it's good. He doesn't look too happy or relieved that Ari has brought him up. I thought she said that she had a boyfriend. She had a boyfriend, but she's still talking to him. All right, look. Like, I don't mean to be messed up or nothing. Your man can take care of you the way I can. I'm not even like tripping off with him because we barely even see each other. Oh, Oh, why are you even holding back? Because What's I up? just met you. So you can like, get to know me. I'm not being serious right now. I'm being dead serious. You in my crib. Like, come on. Oh, no, no, no. I ain't going to take advantage of you at all. I'm trying to change your life. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, you talking now. Definition. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to change your life. I know your word too. Why you think I'm trying to take you out? Come on, what, you like big houses? You like nice cars? You like money? Like who don't? All right, then. <laughs> look, you mess with me. It's all you're gonna do. Right? Paris is good. He he doing better now. He is doing better now. She going for it. She trying to get piped down right now, man. She trying. <laughs> Things were looking so good. They was never looking good, man. I guess it's a date, face at. Come on. That's what I do now. Who's gonna be fired too? Oh. <laughs> Everything was literally going so good. I told you. No. She was saying I do it. She had mentioned she had a boyfriend. She was like, why don't you go out with Madeline instead? Bro, this shit been happening multiple times. Like she always like making up excuses and I let her ass slide with that shit. Oh yeah, he tight. That boy go for it. I be tripping and shit. But it turns up Vegeta real quick. Just making up shit and just like trying to get mad and shit. So it looked like T had a good enough reason to not trust Ari after all because she completely failed this test with complete disregard for him. Classic. So now the question is, do you want to go down there and confront her? Yeah, I don't want you to explain shit to her. I just want her to tell me the fucking truth. You don't want me to explain. No, I don't want you to say nothing. I want her to tell me the fucking truth. So you don't, you don't want me to clarify for her? No, I just want her to tell me the fucking truth. Wait, 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 okay. wait, what? If she could go down there by himself, I'm confused, man. T, don't do it, because if you swing on this girl, then I gotta, I gotta just not, I can't be cool with you no more. We don't hit feelings no matter what that it did you, man. Because he looked like he ready to swing on her. I don't know, Goku looked like he ready to swing on <laughs> <laughs> And so with that, we begin getting ready to make our way downstairs. Damn, T, you bro, this bitch gonna have an excuse, bro. She always got a fucking excuse. Hold on, I'll check, don't, don't worry. So ladies and gentlemen, this is that time in every single video where you need to check if you have toffees in front of you or not. I got apple sauce, do, man. Good. But if you don't, then go get some soya sauce. I got apple sauce. Because I, I never ever say this lightly. This, this shit's going to be good. <laughs> Let's go. You ready for this? Yeah. You know exactly what you want to say? Yep. Guys, any last tips for this thing? Yeah, man. Just get a little out of here. No one to say it, honestly. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh, Let's just go. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is bad. This better be good. This better be good. How's your food, Ari? How's your food? Is it good? Is it good? Yeah, so when you get here. I've been here way before you even got here. How's that even possible? I know him. This is my homeboy. You get it now? You don't know him. That's the fuck I do. You get it now? You see why all these fucking cameras here? You get it? What the fuck is this? You sure you don't want me to help you clarify? Nah, fuck that. She know what the fuck. <laughs> Cool, come on, man. Going on, just fessed up. I don't know exactly what you want me to get, but if it's what I think it is, you honestly overreacting. It's always the same shit, huh? Yeah, fuck that shit. Over mother effing reacting, huh, Ari? Okay, that's what we talking about? Okay. Dude. Oh, it's <laughs> always the same ass shit, huh? I had a feeling you've been doing shit behind my fucking back. Did someone explain to me what the fuck going on because I was thinking. Ain't nobody got to explain shit to you. You know what the fuck you just did with him. What you mean? This is what I'm gonna be talking about. Ain't nobody got to explain shit to you. What was you doing with him? Wow. So what the fuck was you just doing? I came over here to mom before him. You was out there when that girl asked me to come over here. So I like you stupid. So what the fuck was you doing just now? You was eating. I can't eat with another guy without you getting jealous, huh? You acting extra as fuck right now. Ari, this entire thing was a test. 
got to be. Okay, <laughs> so I know T didn't want me to intervene or explain anything to Ari. However, I felt like I had to because if I didn't, she would have just kept on playing dumb. It was a test to see if you would end up accepting to go on a date with Lars. He was actually upstairs listening to the entire conversation that you two just had right now and stuff, okay? So when Madeline walked up to you and invited you to model, that was a part of the test. I don't know if you recognize and remember Jay, but he walked up to you first. Yeah, that was a part of the test. Nothing that was said or offered in this test was real. This house is actually not even Lars's. He's not rich. He's not super, super successful. It was all just a test. Dang, just, just poop on Lars like that, man. Just poop on Lars. Lars? Uh, okay. To see if you would end up going out with him. And again, he was upstairs listening to everything. So there's no point in lying or denying anything or playing dumb and stuff. You already knew that shit, bro. I ain't got, ain't nobody got to explain shit to your ass. No, bitch, this one no fucking setup. You know what the fuck you just did? Turn up, and you sound like NBA no more. I just saw you finna go out with this fucking guy. Nah, fuck that shit. Ain't none of that shit, bitch. You know what the fuck you did? No, fuck you go do. I'm taking the fuck out of my face. Oh, oh, oh. Put your hands on me. Don't put my hands on you. Wow, so that was a very quick, explosive, and shocking confrontation. I know it definitely had Laura's shook. But don't think it's <laughs> over just yet, shaking. because it's not. Because my dumb ass ends up saying this. She left her phone. You got your phone. You forgot your phone. What are you doing? So Ari got up so quickly that she didn't realize that she was leaving without her phone. And I'm dumb for calling it out because I didn't realize that I had just caused World War III. <laughs> Oh, fuck that. You ain't getting your shit back. Oh my god, what did I do? Why couldn't I just realize that she left her phone after she walked out of the freaking house? Give me back my fucking Nah, fuck that. You ain't getting your shit back. You guys, you don't give me back my shit, I will beat your ass in front of all these people and you know beat I will. Beat my ass so I can throw your ass at motherfucking food. No, these guys start. Wait, wait. They can't do this on camera. Legit fighting for the freaking phone. Okay, now I'm not trying to get demonetized or promote violence, so I can't show you this in its entirety, but Ari is literally throwing blows at T to get her phone back. <laughs> but in the end, T is able to get her off of him, but unfortunately, he still is holding on to her phone. And to all my headphone users, I'm warning you guys right now, you might want to turn down your volume right, because man. World War IV is about to kick off. Give me back my phone! Uh, you ain't getting your shit back. You ain't getting your shit back. Nah, fuck that. I'm going to call the fuck your best friend. I'm going to call this shit fuck your best friend. I'm gonna fuck your best friend. You ain't giving this shit back till I fuck your best friend. You ain't giving your shit back till I fuck your best friend. Oh my mama. You ain't giving your shit back till I fuck your best friend. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. I ain't that fucking dope. You don't want that fucking dope. Open that fucking dope. I'm gonna throw that to this motherfucking people. Oh my god. Oh my god. The pool. Wait, hold on. What ended, up, what ended up happening, guys, is T ended up grabbing Ari and he is literally about to toss him in the freaking pool. <laughs> Why did I have to freaking notice that she left her phone behind? This is At the worst point. I honestly felt so bad for Ari. She was literally holding on for dear life to not nah, get tossed. We're gonna toss her in the pool, pool bro. Toss her in the pool. Oh, Do it, please. So oh, why you messed up? You were freaking dead. <laughs> But luckily, she gets free before getting dunked, but she still doesn't have her phone. I ain't giving your shit back. No, fuck that shit. I ain't giving your shit back. No, I ain't giving your shit back. I ain't giving your shit back. I'm finna dump your ass in this motherfucking pool. Keep keep playing with me. Keep playing with me. Keep fucking playing with me. Keep playing with me. No, fuck that. You ain't giving your shit back. Fuck that. I'm fucking your best friend and recording on your phone, bitch. Oh, really? Oh, really? That's too bad because I already fucked your best friend. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute. Please don't tell me this is cat, bro. Please tell me she lying. Please tell me she lying, I'm man. I'm sorry, T, but I gotta give that one to Ari. That was savage. This girl would not give up, though. She wants her phone, and she's willing to go one more round for it. <laughs> this time, but if though, she's... If he gets tossed in the pool, he just took the L overall, man. He just took the overall L. Successfully retrieves it. And here's the part where I stop feeling bad for Ari because despite having her phone in her hand, she continues to stay there and argue as opposed to just walking out. Okay, it's over. You got your phone there. That's enough. It's over. You're done with your whole ass. Okay, be done. You ain't nothing but a hoe. Be fucking done. You ain't nothing but a fucking you hoe. You ain't nothing but a fucking hoe. That's how you That's do it. Hold around. You been doing this shit behind Karma's my back. Karma's a bitch. Huh? Your whole Karma's ass. a bitch. You a hoe. Karma's a You a fucking bitch. hoe. I'll beat the fuck out of your ass, bitch. Put your hands on me. I swear to God, I get my whole, my brother, my daddy, all of them. You already know. Don't play. You ain't nothing but a hoe. Don't play. I swear to God, you a hoe, bro. Touch me. No. 
It's all you do is fucking cheat. Huh. You want to be a whole all your fucking life? Make some money. You want to be a whole all your fucking money. life? You wanna be a whole make some money. You want to be a whole all your fucking life? Wait, why you saying make some money? What they got to do with anything? Everybody gonna cheat on your dumb ass, you dummy. Hey. Don't fuck your best friend, I promise you. Okay, Ari, you should probably head out before he probably takes you or something. I don't know. I, I don't want to see you thrown in the pool. Like I really I want to see her thrown in the pool, bro. You should probably just head out. Yeah, you know that. Y'all gonna give him the pause? You wanna keep talking before I dump your ass in that fucking pool? Oh, okay. Thank you. And so with that, Ari finally decides to leave. She's barefoot, and I'm sure she's a little embarrassed. But wait, because it's not over. It's not. Come on, man. Tell me more. I'm just kidding, it's over. Oh, <laughs> don't lie to me like that, bro. Fuck you! Ah, the door. The goddamn door. She slammed the goddamn door hard. Yeah. Woo! You guys made it to the end of the crazy freaking. This one was great. I'm not, I see why y'all kept sending me this one. This one was probably the best one ever. That was absolutely hilarious. I'm mad at the man that Goku did not throw the, throw the trees inside the water. I'm mad he didn't do it. I was really hoping that something would happen to her. I'm glad he didn't hit her or nothing like that, but like throw her in the pool at least. Something. He should have thrown her phone, her phone in the pool or something. I don't freaking know, man. This was great. I thoroughly enjoyed this video. This was absolutely amazing, man. But anyways, y'all, that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you like right now. You know what I'm saying? If you want me to react to it, I'm, I'm going to trust y'all now. Because before, I used to just be ignoring y'all when, when a whole bunch of y'all just sent me the same video. But now, I'm going to trust y'all because a bunch of y'all kept... I promise you, like, mad people were sending me this video. And I was like, why everybody want me to react to this one in specific? And now, I see why. This one was absolutely amazing. So, if you want me to react to anything specific, hit me over there on Instagram at Juvera underscore. It doesn't have to be from this channel. It can be from any channel. It can be any type of video. It really don't matter. I'll react to it. And um, yeah, free dead body, you know the vibes, man. Joy.com, I see my two third free bill up, say $50. And I'm going to see y'all out. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.